So about a week ago, I finally bit the bullet and decided I was going to switch to Emacs. Now, this came after a lot of pressure from certain elements of the community that watch my videos. And I was very resistant of it because I don't know why I'd want to. And at the end of the day, I was very happy with them. But I decided to do it because as a YouTube content creator, which is a weird thing to say, I need content in order to be able to maintain that title. So uh, I did decide to switch to Emacs and uh, I've now done been in Emacs for a week. Now, I have not spent a ton of time in Emacs because just the nature of this past week has been very busy, but I do have some initial thoughts. So that's what I'm going to be talking about today. The first thing I will say is that this I'm not going to stop using Emacs after this week. Everybody who said a week was not enough was completely right. A week isn't enough, and I'll talk more about why that is as we go along in this video. My first thought on vanilla Emacs, which is what I installed to begin with, is that it's basically unusable. And I say that because the key bindings are horrendous. They're just really bad. Now, those of you who use vanilla Emacs will say, but Matt, or if I'm going to be Muda, but Matt, <laughs> sorry, I've always wanted to do that, you can just change the key bindings. And uh, that's true, but I did not want to go through and just imitate them, which is what I would do anyways. Uh, now, some of the key bindings would have been fine, and I would have learned them, but a lot of the key bindings I would have changed, or I would have installed Emo Mode, which would have negated the reason to use vanilla Vim or vanilla Emacs in the first place. So, after a day of messing around with vanilla Vim or vanilla Emacs, I'm going to do that a lot. I installed Doom Emacs. Now, we all know that DT is a big fan of Doom, Doom Emacs, so I watched his videos and was able to install it and get up and running. And that's what I've been on now for probably six days or so, five or six days. And my initial thoughts on that experience is that I'm just using it like I, I always used Vim. It's, for me, the way I've used it in the last week is that it's just a text editor. And it's a good one, but there are is apparently so much more that I need to explore. And that is the overwhelming feeling I have right now with Emacs, is that I've not even scratched the surface of what it can do, because literally all I'm using it for is a text editor. And maybe that's fine, but if all I ever get out of Emacs is that it's a text editor, then there was no reason to switch to it to begin with, because Vim was a perfectly fine text editor and script editor and all that stuff. So the next week that I'm going to be spending with Emacs is going to be delving into the things that make Emacs special. Things like org mode, things like uh, the special note-taking plugins that it has. I don't, can't remember what the name is. It starts with R something. I don't know. Uh, anyways, those are the two things I'm going to take a look at because I would love to see what the replacement for something like VimWiki would be inside Emacs because I use VimWiki a lot. I mean, like, all my notes for videos are in VimWiki. I keep notes for all other things in VimWiki. I use VimWiki a lot. So if I can find a way to replace VimWiki inside of Emacs, that'd be cool. Now, I would also like to take a look at the email client because Neomut has stopped working for me for some reason. I don't know why. So it'd be interesting to try the email client inside of Emacs. And I wouldn't mind trying some of the other features that I discover as well. So I'm going to stick with Emacs for at least another week, maybe two, before I make another video about it. As of right now, I have no other thoughts on it other than Doom Emacs does an okay job of uh, imitating Vim enough where I really haven't noticed. Now, I will say that I prefer using Emacs in the terminal. And honestly, I had no clue you could do this until somebody in uh, one of the comments sections from the video last week told me I could do this. And I much prefer using Emacs in the terminal. But that even further solidifies my interest in using it just like Vim because it, to me and I actually have a an alias here 
that allows me to use it just like I would use Vim, except for instead of V, I use E, and it just opens up Emacs like that. Now, I haven't installed the Emacs daemon yet, so it is a little slow, but I'm not all that worried about that. I don't care. But again, because I'm using it in the terminal, it just makes it feel so much like Vim. So over the next week, I'm still going to use it like this, but I'm also going to, like I said, explore some of the more built-in features. I also want to look at some of the, I don't know if you call them plugins or something, but whatever, that will make Emacs more than what I currently use it as. Because that's probably the biggest thing I have right now is that if it's just this, which we know it's not, but if if it's just this for me, then there is no reason for me to use it because it does everything right now that Vim always did. And I prefer Vim because I understand VimScript and Lua way more than I do Lisp or Elisp or whatever it's called. And that's the one final thought that I have is that the syntax for the config of Doom Emacs and Emacs is so far a little bit beyond me. I've tried to change the font. I keep getting errors. I don't know why. Because I just copied somebody else's like, code block and I still got errors. So I don't know what was going on there. Um, I'll figure that out eventually, I'm sure. It could be something like, a, in a, like in a YAML file, you have to have your indentations right. And you can't use tab. So maybe that has something to do with what I was doing. I don't know. Uh, I'll figure that out. So I'm still at the beginning stages of learning how to configure it. I did learn how to change the theme. As we know, that's the most important thing. So those are my first initial impressions of my week with Emacs. It hasn't scared me away yet, but it hasn't blown me out of the water yet either. We'll see if things like org mode and the note-taking plugin or whatever it's called make me more impressed with it than I am. Because right now, like I said, I'm just using it as a text editor and it's uh, not as good a text editor as Vim, in my opinion. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you want to get in contact with me, you can do so at the LinuxCast. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. Before I go, I'd like to take a moment to thank my current patrons. Devon, Chris, East Coast Web, Gen 2, Spun 2, Patrick L, Marcus, Meglin, Jackson, F Tool, Steve A, Mitchell, Arch Center, Merrick, Camp, Joshua Lee, J-Dog, and the BSDs Rock. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.